Coming to the second question. A tree breaks due to the storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground, making an angle 30 degrees with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meters. Find the height of the tree. Now moving on to the solution. Here, he has given that a tree. Let us consider a tree whose height is 8 meters. Let us also draw the figure. It is ground. And there is a tree, A, B. Let us assume that tree is broken at point C. Let us assume that tree is broken at point C and the broken branch falls on the ground at point A dash which makes angle 30 degrees with the ground. Here he has given the distance between foot of the tree to point where top touches the ground as 8 meters. What he has to find is height of the tree that is AB. Now as he has given the distance A dash B is equal to 8 meters and angle C A dash B is equal to 30 degrees angle which the broken part makes with the ground and he asks us to find the height AB. Here height AB of tree will be equal to BC plus CA that is equal to BC plus here CA is nothing but broken part which is again fallen on ground that is CA dash therefore CA can be replaced by CA dash. So here we need to find the two parameters that is BC and CA dash. We know that angle CBA dash is 90 degrees. So in the right angle triangle we have an angle included angle that is 30 degrees and the adjacent side to the included angle that is 8 meters. Here we need to find the opposite side and the hypotenuse. In order to find this let us use the three, two trigonometric ratios that contain the opposite side initially that is tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Here we have the theta that is the included angle in the right angle triangle and we also have the adjacent side. Now we need to find here the hypotenuse also. We have the adjacent side and we need to find the hypotenuse. So appropriate trigonometric ratio is cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Then here we get tan theta that is tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side is nothing but BC divided by adjacent side is nothing but A dash B that is 8 meters. That implies here tan 30 degrees is known as tan 30 degrees is given by 1 by root 3 that is equal to BC by 8 which implies BC is equal to 8 by root 3. Now again cos theta that implies cos 30 degrees is equal to adjacent side that is A dash B which is nothing but 8 meters divided by hypotenuse that is nothing but A dash C that implies cos 30 degrees is nothing but root 3 by 2 which is equal to 8 by A dash C or C A dash which implies C A dash is equal to 8 into 2 by root 3 that is nothing but 16 by root 3. Here he asked the height of the tree that is AB which is equal to BC plus C A dash that is BC we got it as 8 by root 3 plus C A dash we got it as 16 by root 3 that is equal to let us take 1 by root 3 common then we get 8 plus 16 that is equal to 8 plus 16 is nothing but 24 by root 3 that is equal to this can be written as 8 into 3 by root 3 that is equal to 8 root 3 meters therefore the height of the tree is 8 root 3 meters.